stories of child sexual exploitation, which reaches through the profession of journalism, not only impact the journalists themselves, but also make us sadly aware that raising children requires the realization that child sexual abuse does not always happen to someone else's child and not your own. We realized early on that we would need to work closely with the media. These awards are an example of the benefits of such a collaboration, as well as a reflection on how far we as Canadian society have come and progressed in reporting on the issue of child sexual exploitation and ultimately in raising awareness within the public space. Well, it's very important for uh, Beyond Borders to have a, a media awards program. We've done it for nine years. We celebrate the International Day of Children's Rights. And it's important so the journalists are encouraged to keep telling the difficult stories, that their editors are made aware that people are sensitive to these stories and reacting, and the journalists are making a difference. Thank you very much. It comes as a particularly satisfying uh, response to what we did to, to get this kind of recognition from an organization like Beyond Borders. As a student, it's fantastic to be recognized for a piece that I did. Um, I put a lot of work into it and learning more and more about it has made me want to keep going with helping with all these issues of child sexual exploitation and trafficking. Cet organisme là euh, permet aux journalistes en fait de faire la lumière sur des points sombres. Euh, le point sombre de l'exploitation sexuelle et je pense que ça ne peut qu'encourager euh, d'autres collègues à faire la même chose pour qu'un jour cette réalité-là soit mise au grand jour et que les gens ne l'acceptent plus. And I think it's especially important to thank Beyond Borders for establishing these awards which um, actually promote and, and encourage journalists to pay attention to the stories that sometimes don't make the news. It's an honor to read the uh message from Raymond Provencher. I honestly believe that the true heroes of my films are the children themselves. The heroes are the girls that I had the privilege of meeting in Africa. They deserve this prize and I accept it on their behalf. They have good research, they have empathy, they have heart, they have head, they have uh, compassion, they have uh, reason. It's a very intense process because we're trying, we're going through uh, an entire scope of human rights issues in a condensed period of time. If you were to do this over a year, it would be manageable, but in, say, a week or two, it's very demanding. Whether it's around the world or whether, uh, unfortunately, as we know in Canada, it's in our own backyard. And I think the media uncovering some of these stories uh, is very helpful, first for all of us to understand, but also to expose, unfortunately, some people in our community that choose to prey on children. Child abuse is widespread around the world and things that are occurring to these kids, is, it just cannot be tolerated. So, so we have to support as much as we possibly can. Those agencies are doing as much as they can to alleviate that whole problem worldwide. Uh, we can never, ever take the message for granted. We have to be relentless in uh, making sure that Canadians are well informed about uh, the scourge that has got to, uh, that has got to be addressed uh, like never before. It's a great cause to work for, to advocate for children's rights. People are out there and wanting to talk about this issue. Sometimes we feel that we're a small group that are sensitized by these issues, but in fact, there's a lot of people out there. So it was amazing. Mm -hmm.